North Star. If there are no stars, just follow the river. Listen for them. Fear is your enemy. Whoa. Easy now. I'm gonna be free or die. The film is Harriet, directed by Casey Lemons and written by Gregory Allen Howard. It's the story of Harriet Tubman freeing herself from slavery and making the journey back and forth from the south to the north to free her family and eventually free 700 slaves. Harriet is a noteworthy docudrama about the abolitionist period of Harriet Tubman. For that reason, it's a good film. However, I think Tubman has a lifetime of experiences that this film doesn't touch upon, and for that reason, it's a good film. I think it could have been a great film. One of the reasons that I think that this could have been a great film is that after her, her getting out of slavery and going back and, and freeing other slaves, she also had a period in the Civil War where she led a revolution and, and that for the first time for a female to be in that kind of a lead role. Uh, after that, she, she created a, uh, she built a variety of homes for slaves in which to live in afterwards. She also created a, a hospital where they had free medical attention. And as we all know, there was a, a very short period where she almost was on the $20 bill. And so yeah. I just think the, all those are really important pieces that this film doesn't really touch on. I know they're only looking at the abolitionist period. Well, I think and up through the Civil War. And right, then right. The, I think that the pinnacle of the film was when they were fighting at Harper's Ferry at the Civil War. And hundreds and hundreds of slaves were freed at right, that point. Right. And, um, and also her important work in the Underground Railroad. Right. I mean, she was not the founder, but she was really instrumental in, in setting that up and getting you know the slaves all the way as far north as Canada. But actually, I grew up in that area, in Delaware, and one of my really close friends, her home from, I think it was built in the 1700s, was an underground railroad. Oh, was that and right? we used to go down there, and it was really like the cellar locked, you know, like little, it was very interesting. Well, you know, and let's talk about, especially maybe some of the safe houses, which yeah. is where, where they, went, where they mm -hmm. went to. And this is one of the problems that I had with the film, and that is, okay, so the, the slaves, they usually are, are, are running or running away during the nighttime. That's usually kind of when, when it seems to happen, because they do, do it in secret. However, a lot in this film, when they're running at nighttime, is shot under the beautiful nighttime full moon, which means this, the place that they're running to and from is all in light. And I think that if, if, you're, if you're trying to do this in secret, you, know, you see them all the time, they're looking over their shoulders of who, who's watching us and they're, they're coming from one bit of forest and they're running across the field. In what I, what to me, it looks like daylight. And then they get to the front of this safe house and they're knocking on the door and they're looking over their shoulders, what's happening? And the guy opens the door and he says, oh, what's happening? Why, why, you, you should be inside and I'm thinking, get inside why are you standing out in the middle of the, of the moonlight people are going to see you and that happens quite often well one of the best things about this film to me was the acting i made up my mind i'm going back without my husband and my family i'm just a stranger in a strange land if i'm free they should be too i'm gonna go get them one by one starting with my husband i need a suit for him and a dress for me so i can look like a free lady Cynthia Arrivo, I had never seen her before in anything. Right, neither. But she, she's a gifted British actress. She does a lot of uh, stage and film, some smaller films that we, we don't know about, right, but right. she just won an Emmy for, for her voice, for singing right, right. on the Today Show. Right. And that was really interesting. In fact, she also co-wrote Stand Up, the, the final song that's playing during the credits. Right. Well, she co-wrote and sang that. And um, so she's got an amazing voice, but she does the voice of Harriet. So she transforms her voice mm -hmm. to Harriet, not her regular singing voice. In right. fact, the soundtrack was really, I thought it was a great soundtrack. In the film, the slaves actually used song to clue their people in to as tell to what's happening, what's happening, exactly. where to go. I mean, she came running back and used a song. Yeah. I was a little thrown off by that initially. I thought, what, why are you singing? Is this a musical all of a sudden? But no, it's not a musical. This is. The way that they they're really talk. did that. Right, right. I mean, it was very interesting because a lot of times, right behind, right in front of their masters, they would 
use yeah. these songs. And right. They're I, telling each other yeah. something without the masters knowing what's yeah. going on. Right? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree with that. There were no gunshots in this in this film. Oh, even just a though, few. Just a few. Even though the the masters were on horse and with their guns and they're chasing mm -hmm. after these folks. And I understand that slaves at that time they were worth money and they were not going to shoot them because they right. they wanted to get them back. Right. Right. But it just seems so odd that they were armed with the guns, they were armed with the dogs, they were armed with, with, the, with, the, with the horses, and yet no one ever really caught Well, I anybody. think they wanted to scare them back into submission. Yeah, I, I In guess, fact, yes. when, when the reason Harriet uh, uh, Minty was her original name, right. uh, actually left and went running was because she found out she was going to be up for auction. Let's rate this baby. Let's rate it. You okay, go first? I will. Okay. okay. All right. Wine glasses, how many wine glasses? You know what, I'm giving this five wine glasses. And because of the, the history, the value, the acting, I thought it was a very moving, gripping story. I say, give me one of those wine glasses <laughs> because that's a little too much in my book. I'll say, I'll give it four out of five popcorns. It's, it's a good movie. There could have been more, like you said. I think we agree with that. The name of the film? Harriet. Harriet.